Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Holder, Eiffel TV, in association with Matt and Jim Lovell with me. I've got the knowledge. Spencer Fearon looking very debonair today, Spence, like in the shirt tie combo, my son. Thank, thank you very much. I'm trying to keep up to you, James. You know what I mean? Do you know what it is? You've inspired me to sort of smarten myself up and not dress like someone's grown up son. You, you, don't, you don't need to though, that's the problem, you don't need to man. I, you know I mean? I, I've, been I've been watching you, you've been smart. I see like you and your little boy in the same little combo outfits on Insta. You know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously. You want to judge a measure of a man, it's always the woman that is with and how he raises his children. Very, very That's the measure of a person. Very big statement. Very big statement. So I like how you're rolling. You know I, mean? I appreciate that, Spence. Let's talk a little bit about the press conference today. It's quite interesting in, in itself, the fact that we've got Dillian White and Derek Chisora matched up. A lot of people expected maybe some animosity, some form of tension today. Derek was quite calm from all accounts as you look at his past track record. How do you assess today? Brother, wasn't you upset? I was bit. upset. I, was a I mean, upset. I, I called my house. I thought, I thought, I thought Dylan White was going to cause some trouble in that. You know what I mean, Dylan White didn't I'm, do nothing. I'm not going to cause some you know trouble. I, mean? I, wanted, I wanted Dylan to start throwing over the <laughs> tables and chairs. I wanted yeah. Dylan to tell the story listen, of the spa that no, he no, had no, six listen, years ago with, listen, with Derek. Listen, you know it, go. You was there. But listen, Derek knows he can't do the stupidness he do with other people. To me, he knows what time is. He knows I put him over my knee and spank him on his bottom. So he knows he has to be with himself. You know, it, it, this is a man that slapped the mayor of, 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 of Kiev or Ukraine or whatever it is, but he knows. <laughs> yeah, bad man. And dope it off of Franton. See it there? He don't want me to back it out, you know. What, what happened in the spa with him? Well, I've got you both here. Can, the, can you explain it? I'm gone. gone. I've got, no, I got no, to get this me, guy. Give me, you know, one, give me one line on this so I know. Remember, what, what remember I came into that spa off the street. No boxing experience with Leo Harris. Yes, that's very true. Um, you know, amateur fight, not, not a couple of kickboxing fights to keep myself out of trouble as a kid. And Derek, at, at the time, was British champion. See it there. And, and it was an entertaining spa, to tell you the truth. They sparred five rounds, and i tell you who was present at the And they had no fitness them times yeah. as well. Yeah, like, um, Dylan came into the gym with, like, Hawaiian Bermuda shorts, you know the Bermuda shorts? The Bermuda, Bermuda ones are wearing yeah. Twitter all the time. Right, the Bermuda, still wears them now. Yeah, Bermuda shorts and a pair of trainers, right? A pair and, of pimps, I didn't even have boxing boots. Right, and um, his foot was dry because he, he didn't invest in cocoa butter like now. Now he's thinking now, of cocoa I, butter. I, I take leave from, from yeah, Spencer's yeah, right, book, man. Yeah, right, and then, and they sparred, and it was, no, 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 they sparred, and it was a proper, they had a tear up, and I think Derek was a little bit taken aback. And, and and Dylan actually got the Dylan got the better in the spine. I ain't gonna say that Dylan beat him up. But in hindsight, when you think about it, no, I'm being real. In hindsight, when you think about it, Derek did beat him up, and he did beat him up. Derek or Dylan, which one? No, no, the the black guy one, right? The big black guy. Like <laughs> right, seriously, the one the one who had the proper haircut, not the tough hairstyle. <laughs> See, I'm big in it, so I can just thump him up. <laughs> now, nah, what happened was this. Um, Derek Britt did Dylan. stink though, Derek Britt smelled like he'd been eating batty, you know. <laughs> it's, when, he's, when, he's, when, he's, when, he, when he stood up and was talking to me, I was thinking to myself, it's money, what did he eat for breakfast? He's eating batty sandwich. <laughs> now, nah, on the rules, but in the spot. In, 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 nah, you take it with me. <laughs> I'm not getting involved I'm in that, man. I'm going to send him some toothpaste as a thank you for accepting the fight gift. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can send it in a little, nice little box with a ribbon on it. Now. Nah, but yeah, I mean, Dylan, 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 I don't Dylan. use this, I choose stick. Ah, 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 go, go, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, Dylan, Dylan got, Dylan got the better of the spa. But it was more to the fact that it was, it was the style of how he got the better of the spa. And I remember at that time, Rob McCracken was even there. And Rob McCracken said, Spence, you want to sign this kid, right? You, you, you want to sign him. And like, he was just a, he was just a novice, a complete novice. Didn't even, didn't even walk into the amateur gym properly. He came down with one of our, one of my old coaches, Leroy Harris, who used to be big down with me Leroy. at the room. Yeah, big, big up Leroy. And Leroy was like, yo, Spencer, I got this boy, you know, you have to have a look at him. And Spencer was laughing, Spencer yeah. thought, Leroy is an idiot, yeah, Leroy. <laughs> and when I saw the spot, like, then Don Charles phoned me, he said, oh, I'm looking for some sparring, Spencer, can you sort out some sparring? I said, oh yeah, I said, there's a kid down the gym. The sparring, he was so impressive in the spot, Don Charles wanted to train him, this is facts. Right, but I'm not going to diss Derek for the simple fact that 
No, man, you're gonna have to say no. No, I'm joking. I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna down the rules. I'm not gonna diss him because at the end of the day, I've seen somebody come from the background of where he's come from, and 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 the hardship where he's come from, and done well for himself. And like just like with you, I've seen from where mm. you've come from, mm. where I remember, and now how you're rolling. So those things make me feel proud. Cause I know you from a pub. Yeah, I do have respect for him. Listen, there was some man that got in there and thought was ever put in front of him, and he does try and win, but you know he just. Yeah, but what would have happened if he'd have tried it on you today? I'd have boxed him down. <laughs> I'd have gone mad. Listen, Did I, the British Border Control warn you to say to behave yourself? They always warned me to say behave myself. But, but, but listen, someone like Derek is unpredictable. You can't let him step to you. Yeah, but he weren't going to step to you. Yeah, but if you step to you and he, he's a man that spits, yeah. bite, kiss, <laughs> hit, you can't make a man that step to you. That's a violation. So if he had stepped to me, I'd have to defend myself. Okay. But there we have it. Right. Listen, Dylan White's team is waiting on Dylan to yeah. make a move, so right. go and have your food and that. Thanks for giving us some time Take today, Take it Dil. easy, the batty holding. Oh, you carry on. Batty holding. You carry on, you'll be fighting Derek, you'll be fighting me. Who's <laughs> getting <laughs> in it? <laughs> Alright, so now he's gone, you can tell me who you think's really going to win. No, 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 on the rules, on the rules, you, you, you'd have to pick um, Dylan to win this fight. And, but the thing about it, it's not about just winning a fight, it's about he has to win good. Right, you can't, right, as far as we're concerned now, you're learning, you're learning time with Mark Tibbs is done now. On here, you have to really, really perform. Now I can see in spurts when he's fighting, I can see the performances and he's looking sharp. Now you're really, really gonna have to put it all together because you know what? Um, Chisora's coming to fight and Chisora's coming to, to try and bowl you over. And now that Chisora's back with Don Charles, he's gonna, be, he's gonna be even more vicious because Don Charles is pounding it in his head of how important this fight is, and they need this fight. So he's in um, last chance saloon. So that's what's going to bring the best out of him, because I know like the realizations is actually dawned on him. And when you see him there, where he's not um, uh, misbehaving up on the, for the press conference today, that just shows to me that he's trying maturity, and in his head he's saying, right, I really want to give it to you. And he will go out there to give it to him, and this is going to be a good fight. It's gonna, and it has to be a good fight. 